A Christmas hamper. And they've gotten some stuffed animals. Filled with everything a struggling family needs to get through the holidays. There's a greater community that cares for them. Coming together to combat poverty, advocates here in Vancouver. And across the country say that's a life lesson industry minister James Moore must learn. Moore is in trouble over comments, suggesting it's not up to the federal government to help children who don't have enough to eat. Is that always the government's job, to be there to serve people their breakfast? You know, empowering families with more power and resources so that they can feed their own children um, is, I think, a good thing. It's the government's just my job to feed my neighbor's child. I don't think so. <laughs> Moore made that comment during a brief radio interview Friday. Oh, you know. Um, I'm supposed to feed my neighbor's children breakfast or serve breakfast. It was, his language was really quite dismissive and, and insulting. In Canada, it's estimated one in seven children live below the poverty line. Moore's comments not only angered anti-poverty advocates, but triggered a flood of online criticism. Criticism he initially brushed off by saying his comments were taken out of context. The sentiments that lie underneath the words is the belief system of this conservative government. As far as uh, Mr. Moore was concerned, uh, poverty was not an issue that the federal government had to worry about at all. Moore, who is often said to have leadership aspirations, did finally apologize today by posting a statement on his website saying, I made an insensitive comment that I deeply regret. I know the cause of fighting poverty is not helped by comments like those I made. So an apology made. But something to think about in all this. The House of Commons passed a unanimous motion back in 1989 to eliminate child poverty by the year 2000. Advocates say instead of things improving, they've only gotten worse. Lisa?